Here at the Biosphere, uh, the idea actually started uh, with my mentor and colleague, Kai Stotts. We started the space analog for the Moon and Mars. So throughout the process of exploring the different potentials, we kind of came up with the idea of uh, a new center of excellence, which will enable us to kind of further have a deeper impact. Today, we have Space Plus 5 astronaut candidates out uh, from across the United States, and the astronaut Ruben Salinas will be flying with Blue Origin next year. One of the things that we're exploring in this training is how can an artificial intelligence support human spaceflight. As such, we have Bina 48 joining the Space Plus 5, and we're trying to evaluate how a companion AI humanoid can support human spaceflight, especially during emergency egress and spacecraft operations that require a lot of support. Remove any potential share rings that may create a hole in the suit. One of the things that they're doing here this weekend is learning about pressurized spacesuits, how to egress out of a capsule that's in the water. So for instance, for my flight, which was Inspiration 4, we splashed down in the Atlantic. And so we had water survival training. Uh, so they're gonna be doing that. They're also going to be getting training from me specifically on creating what I call a Jedi space, accessible, just, equitable, diverse, and inclusive space. So how do you set that up for your crew, for yourself, um, for your mission, all of those kinds of things. The goal of Chase is really to enable sustainable technologies and workforce development long term for the habitation of space. And so what we want to do is we want to make sure we enable everybody. So whether you're a plumber, an electrician, an artist, an accountant, a teacher, we want to enable you to start to think about how to integrate into space and solve problems that not only will help us live long term on the moon or Mars, but also long term sustainably here on Earth.